I'm here with Jim Tierney from Digital Anarchy and we're going to be looking at Beauty Box running on Final Cut Pro 10. NAB is brought to you by XFX. Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from industrialrevolution.com. Okay, Jim, we've um, featured Beauty Box on fcp.co a couple of times, yep. but this is a great opportunity to see it, see it in action. So I was just wondering if you could take us through it. Yeah, sure, absolutely. So the way Beauty Box works is just apply it like any other filter. And so we will uh, drag and drop it. And the first thing you want to do is click on the Analyze Frame button. And what this is going to do is run face detection, run some other algorithms, and figure out what the skin tones are in the image. And so once I have these skin tones, I can track them throughout the entire video clip. So I just basically set it up on the first frame, or any frame for that matter, uh, do the Analyze Frame, figure out what the skin tones are, dial in whatever amount of smoothing that I want to have. And in this case, it's fine. It looks pretty good. Uh, we can take a look at what the mask looks like. Hold on. And actually, in this case, the mask is less than ideal. So what I'm going to do is use my Add Color tool to improve it just a little bit. And I can click right on the window. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. And that's going to expand the skin tone range and tell Beauty Box these, I want those skin tones smoothed out as well. So now I've got a really good mask. And we can take a look at the before and after. So that's the before, and that's the after. It's quite a difference. It's quite a difference. And it's a little bit pokey since I'm running it on a MacBook Pro at the moment, but uh, it's a little bit faster if you have a nice, fast, open or GPU accelerated graphics card. Um, and so you get a really nice look. It keeps things looking realistic. You still maintain some of the skin texture. You know, we're not just doing this massive blur and blurring everything out, which yeah. you see some filters doing. There's, now, a lot, there's a lot more under the hood than just a, yeah, a color selection and a blur and a mask. Indeed, indeed there is. <laughs> yeah, and especially with 3.0, we've really improved the masking algorithms to make it that much easier. You know, so on a basic level, all you really need to do as an editor is click on that analyze frame, figure out what the skin tones are, and then adjust your smoothing. As long as your lighting remains consistent, it's going to track those skin tones all the way through. Now, if you have a situation where the lighting changes, you just need to go to that frame, re-hit, hit analyze frame again, that will recalibrate the plugin, and that's all there is to it. And that's pretty much view box in a nutshell. Okay, how about pricing and availability? Uh, 3.0 will be available in about three weeks. Uh, we're running a show special of 149, which we'd love to extend to uh, your listeners. And uh, you can use the coupon code NAB2013, and that'll get you 25% off of the uh, regular 199 price, and that'll be good through the uh, end of April. Sounds like a great deal. Okay, Jim, thanks very much. You're welcome, thanks. NAB is brought to you by XFX. Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from industrialrevolution.com.